Yeah, so this is a fantastic question. And I believe every entrepreneur that um, is is working, uh, that is a solopreneur, so an employee or uh, you know, a business owner of one, I believe that their first hire should be an executive assistant. Um, I love all of my staff a lot and, and they know that, but uh, Veronica, my executive assistant, has been the most important hire um, I've made as a as an entrepreneur, and I wish I had done it earlier. So previously, I'd actually hired staff, but um, what what happens with most solopreneurs is they have to wear every hat on kind of startup, right? They're they're doing sales, they're doing marketing, they're doing fulfillment, they're doing finance, uh, all of these aspects that that are needed in a business. And then for me personally, I. You know, I'm, I'm kind of a, I don't want to use the word visionary, but I'm much more on the creative thinking end than the operational tightness. And that's just who I am. Um, you know, there's, there's communication around visionary and integrator, essentially. The integrator being the more operations person, and then you've got the visionary who's more creative and, and forward thinking. Um, so when I was kind of at my wit's end, I think I had 10 or 11 clients at the time. Every time I hired staff, it just felt like another obligation and more energy for me to uh, to spend. And ultimately, I failed multiple times because of this because I just didn't have the energy to manage it. And I thought it was a me issue. You know, I knew I needed staff, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't get it together. And um, then I then I had a close friend and mentor recommend, "Look, man, hire an executive assistant so that she can take things off your plate to create bandwidth." And um, I think with everybody, when they think about an executive assistant, it was, well, how am I going to find time or like not time? How am I going to fill her time? There's not enough t uh, tasks in my day to give to her. She's going to be sitting around. All these questions came up, right? Like, how am I going to uh, essentially quantify having somebody working for me for four hours a day? And when it started, it was really simple. It was just things like email, um, calendar invites. But as we started getting to go, Veronica really started to free up my bandwidth and our relationship now is essentially um, my job is to solve the biggest problems within the company. That's my job as an entrepreneur. The team members that are in other areas of the business kind of help identify the problems. So I'll just use graphic design as an example. Hey, D1, we need some retargeting campaigns set up for X, Y, Z. Uh, that attention is being given to me by the people that are specialists in their role. Veronica helps facilitate me solving those problems. So whether that's you know creating a standard operating procedure or identifying that we need one, uh, setting up meetings, capturing emails, uh, and she's essentially allowing me to focus on higher leverage thinking. And she's sort of helping me through admin, through setting up calls or appointments or even research. Um, the, the idea that an executive assistant just answers your email and sets up appointments is sort of almost that paid to think conversation that I had, right? Where yes, tactically that's what it is, but on a macro level, it's allowing me and her to solve the biggest problems within the company. What's beautiful about that is that Veronica is hyper-organized. Honestly, she's like a babysitter for me, if I'm completely honest. She's sending me task lists on a daily basis, reminders, etc. Um, because I'm, I'm quite forgetful, you know, I've got a lot of things coming at me at once and she's sort of a gatekeeper and filter for me and then helps me prioritize ideas or tasks and is giving me the most urgent or highest leverage tasks. So essentially it's a second brain for me and she is filling in gaps or skill sets that maybe I'm not super strong at and allowing me to focus on my zone of genius, which is the creative, the planning, the strategy. So it's really a synergetic, uh, synergetic uh, relationship. And really, I almost see her as like a partner, not like an assistant, um, because we're able to accomplish more together by us kind of playing our lanes, her on kind of the, the, the organization and then me on the um, more creative. What's also great about this is after that hire, it allowed me to hire another eight employees after that. And it never felt like it was more work um, because she was able to kind of filter and help me organize those relationships. So um, I don't think I'd be able to be where I am. I know I wouldn't be able to be where I am without an executive assistant. And just having that secondary support who's keeping you organized and understands your ideal needs and then can kind of coordinate around that, I think is massively valuable for you. So 
Um, I truly believe the executive assistant should be the first hire for, for any entrepreneur that's looking to scale up.